was 15, 16, I was very keen, so I joined the military. In fact, the Fleet Air Arm, Royal Navy. And I shot for all my service career. Got my Queen's Medal, shot for Great Britain, etc., etc. So yeah, people do join so they can shoot. The reason why I joined the cadets was because I could get full shooting all the time. Uh, that for me was quite a big thing. I actually got into shooting because I injured myself and shooting seemed like a, quite a good way to kind of get my knee better as well as doing something. I started when I fractured my shin and I had to find a sport that I didn't have to run or anything so it didn't put too much stress on my leg. You can be tall, short, fat, thin, athletic or not really. Shooting, there's a, there's a, a place for everybody. There's lots of different people that are shooting, people that are disabled, people without legs, which I've seen anyone without an arm but there's definitely people with disabilities and it's open to everyone to shoot. It's uh, a matter of concentration, breathing, exercise. Every aspect of living really comes into being able to shoot well. Being part of the cadets is quite good for leadership and taking on leadership roles is quite helping with that and sort of understanding how to manage people and work in groups of people and how to keep it controlled. It helps you understand improvement and just how that's a gradual process and it doesn't just you know, happen overnight. I think it's all excitement to start with. It's like, oh, this is something I've never done before and that's what we feed on. We, it's a new thing. They've all played hockey or they've played rugby or football or tennis or swimming. They've all done those sports but they won't have shot a rifle normally. And then we train them up and then they suddenly start winning a few things. They win, you know, because they're juniors, they can win a medal or a small trophy or something, and that to them is massive. They'll go home to mummy and daddy saying, I've got a medal, whereas they never won anything in hockey or cricket or rugby before. So to suddenly win a medal at shooting is a big thing. Um, support help choosing universities will probably be really useful, um, pros and the cons. British shooting, also talking to the universities, saying this is actually what our shooters need. Access to rifle ranges, access to ammunition, being able to keep their rifles there or shotguns, um, whatever it may be. And really actually talking to the universities about what the shooter needs to be able to progress onto the next level because you're going to need a job after you finish shooting, you're going to need a career, so university really is the only one of the ways to go. And that's where I chose to go rather than quit all school and do just shooting. I knew I needed a job in the end. I was a cadet myself and I had no idea about any of the other kind of shooting outside of cadets when I was a cadet. So I was in uh, my own little bubble with, with my county shooting team. We, we shot county matches. But outside of that, I had no idea, no idea. So yeah, if, if cadets are given the opportunity, then they'd be grabbing it with both hands. I think something like the Olympics, it's in many ways something that people always look upon with such regard that many of the excellent shooters here just don't think they're capable when in fact they most likely are if they push themselves. So if there was a route to get there then that would be brilliant. I think it could definitely use a bit more attention to the general public because I had a friend who didn't even know Olympic shooting existed. He is a shooter as well so that that's something. I wouldn't really know what to do. I don't yeah, I don't know. I sort of, maybe at university, I would kind of find out if there was a university shooting team or something, but I don't, yeah, I don't really know what's out there. I want to carry on shooting, definitely, um, and it's something which I'm interested in as like, a competitive sport, but I'm not really sure how to carry on. But certainly at school level shooting, you reach a ceiling where you feel you've slightly done all you can, and the ability to go on to Olympic level would definitely give an incentive for people to really push themselves. So having that access to coaches would be would be amazing. It would have been amazing for me at university. I was on my own. I came back, had my mum, which was helpful, but I know a lot of people don't have access to their mum who's a coach. So coaches would definitely be a big, big help for cadets leaving school. The talent is phenomenal that's out there. These kids get to shoot with what's called a CTR, cadet target rifle. It's a pretty basic rifle, but they managed to achieve really, really good scores against full-blown target rifle shooters with all the top gear and they're using a very basic weapon. Now if they can do it with that weaponry, think what they could do with something decent if they were handed it the right way. Currently on the Target Tokyo programme which is really awesome, I'm really excited to be on that. Um, got through to the third stage um, so that's the pathway through to get to the Tokyo Games in 2020 so they're going to help me with my training, training plans, shooting competitions, pathways, nutrition, fitness, everything, hopefully, and 
hopefully the next stage for me will be 2020 and training up to that.